Hello everyone, welcome back to Peakman, my name is Dario, and in the last part we discovered the yellows and got ourselves a radar. We're able to see what exactly where all the parts are and any straggling Peakman. Uh, I didn't know I had three of them right here. Oh, uh, you know what, one of those freaking reds must have carried one back when I wasn't looking. But you know what, that replaces like the, the four of them that died in the last part, so I guess it all works out. Um, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to try to move a little bit quicker in this part just to make sure I get everything done I want to. I mean, ideally, that'd be what I always do, but, you know, that isn't the case. So I'm going to run over here. Oh, no, they're trying to chase me. No. Okay, that's fine. Um, I actually just need one bomb rock, I think, to finish that wall that we started to break down yesterday. There we go. And in the previous part, we kind of already took care of this area. I mean, we got some other parts there, but we can't really get to them now. Oh, yeah, and then we got all those yellows. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, yeah, I'll well, be, be able to go over there and get them momentarily. Just got to blow down, blow, down, ah, blow down the last of this wall. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. So we got 40 of these bad boys. And a little fun note, if you throw if you throw a Peekman like dead center on a tiny bulb orb, it'll kill it outright. I actually learned that from watching uh, other people doing this playthrough, and I probably speedrunners too. Um, I wish I knew that while when I played this game back then. Jeez, like they always find out all the easiest stuff like years after it came out. Come on! Oh, 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 oh boy. Well, I originally wasn't I think I would lose five. That's not that bad. Um, what we'll do is you need ten to carry this. So actually, you know what? No, no, no. How many did I lose? Like five? No, I only lost four. So you know what? There you go. You guys will get your four back. Uh, I'll put them all to work on this wall. And then I'm going to run over and grab these yellows. Now, hopefully these little dweevil looking things didn't come back. Good, they didn't. So everything's dead here. Which is good. We want everything to be dead. Um, and as before, as we learned, uh, you'll uh, yellow, you know, when Pikmin are planted in the ground and stayed there, usually overnight or for a long time, they'll come back as. Oh, that was weird. I heard like a bird like calling outside as I was plucking. So I thought the Peakmen were like making like a cock. Like I thought they were making like this loud. I was like, what the hell? Did my game glitch? Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, we'll use these yellows and get the job done. So I think this is like the last wall we need to, to break down. So we'll just do that real quick. Perfect. So I'm going to run over here to show you just so we don't waste our time because normally you would bring all your Pikmin over here, kill these guys, and then realize you can't really do anything here. Um, can't go through this box. Uh, in the last part we learned we can't really bring Pikmin down here, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much, you can't do anything in this area for now. Um, so we're just going to take these yellows and go explore up north a little bit. Actually, what we're going to do too is... Uh, take back the extraordinary bolt we almost got that we almost got three parts in one day but i was a little bit too uh too slow on the gun but that's all right we'll get it now i think we will yeah so perfect all right so we still got three bomb rocks these fellows are almost done so actually what we're gonna do um since i have no other use for these bomb rocks i'm just gonna use it to break down this wall. Now, yeah, you could normally just use Peekman to do this, but honestly, I mean, I have these spare bomb rocks, might as well. And then here's an instance of color changing uh, pellets where you see they they flip between them. And uh, we got a blue one there. I wonder what that means. But we'll worry about that some other time. Uh, still got a red up there. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna leave that one yellow right there. And we got the extraordinary wheel. Extraordinary. 
extraordinary bowl. This bolt's bowl holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. So he, after receiving five parts, we've increased the dolphin's capabilities. Yay! It still looks like a piece of crap, but yay! So, let's see what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to run over here. And look, we got even more bull borbs to take care of. Uh, we'll see if we can make quick work of them. Up, up, up. Up, up. Okay. <laughs> and then... And then if we're really quiet and we're really sneaky, we could, should be able to kill this no problem. Come on, Olimar. Come on, Olimar. Do it. Do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. They're all dying. They're all dying. Wow. Okay. We just, like, ten of them just died. Jeez. Well, that's an instance of doing something very poorly. So we're actually going to use the these Pikmin to take this back, recover their numbers. Um, I had a feeling that wasn't going to work out too well, but, eh. I mean, you never know till you try, right? So... There we go. What? There we go. Alright, and then we're gonna grab... What do we got? We got... Not really a whole lot to do today. I mean, we already knocked out, like, the two biggest things, but... Uh, I mean, actually, no, it has been a while. It's already noon. Oops. Uh, well, I'll just leave that pellet there. Now, one of the things I really want to get is this 20 right here. And luckily, with the Yellow Pikmin's high-flying capabilities, they're able to swing for it, no problem. Oh, wow, they almost tipped over. Alright, so that brings... Alright, so that's going to increase number tenfold. So here, here's actually a really interesting hint that I'll show you guys right now. Um, so, you noticed I was stopped when I, oh, he'll explain. I'll let Olimar explain. I've made yet another Pikmin-related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped expelling seeds, yet the total number of Pikmin continued to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, subsequent seeds will get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at any one time in any area. So yeah, you can only have 100 Pikmin uh, in the field. Um, oh, okay. Duh, you just said it. Why am I being dumb? Um, so, that can be a good and a bad thing. I mean, you you will be able to get done whatever you need to get done, honestly. Like... In, with only 100 people in. like even 100 is kind of like excessive but uh it's you know it's a good number it, <laughs> what am i even trying to say it's fine like it sounds like it's a limit but it, it really isn't you're you're always gonna have you're gonna have more pikmin than you need um but the reason i pulled out the like 20 of them to, to increase it to 100 so i just to save myself time from picking them myself I found the Nova Blaster. This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that the blast can travel can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into rifts of space. So you get a gun. Looks like something out of a Chuck E. Cheese, but I, I'll take it. So, if I recall right, I think this is going to be the last part we're going to get for today. Which leads us quite a pickle on what to do. So I'm gonna open up my map. So we got 62 in there. We, got... we should be good on yell on the numbers for yellow peepin right now. Um, here, I'm gonna actually get rid of this bomb rock because I don't really need it for anything. So I'm just gonna dump it right there. And. With that, we got the Nova Blaster. Let's 
This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. So it needs six more parts to increase the ship's capabilities. It just keeps climbing, man. Numbers. Um, let's see. Leave those Pikmin there. We got. Weren't these other ones coming back? Where are they? Oh no, the the other twenty are in the ground. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put these yellows back. Almost got a hundred yellow Pikmin. How many? Thirty-five. 47, and then it's not even counting this number that I have down, um, planted. So I think we're doing alright in terms of the Pikmin numbers, but I mean, you, you know, there's never enough. You could always do more. So... So there's 65... 35... Is that 100? Okay, so yeah, almost got a hundred of each Pikmin. That's good. Um, let's see what we can do. Like, if we come over here to this this little rolling log here. We can attach our Pikmin to it, and you see it's starting to make a little bridge almost. We haven't really explored this area yet because you know there's water here, and you know whenever there's water, Pikmin shouldn't be there. Um, and we got little, uh, I believe they're called water dumples here. I'm just run around with them. Whee. Um, but yeah, we actually kind of finished things a little bit early. It kind of makes me sad that I didn't finish up everything yesterday, but, um, you know, what can you do? It's actually, oh wait, they're done? Oh, okay. So yeah, not much we can do over on that little island yet, because you notice that the other part of that bridge is really far like, I'd basically have to bring Pikmin into water and throw it up there. Um, but what we are going to do, I guess, might as well round out our numbers. We'll just come up and clean these boys out. It's honestly really hard trying to... Like, I've played the Pikmin games so much at this point, like, it's... I actually kind of have a hard time, like, remembering, like, the first... my first time playing it. Like, I know... I remember... getting it from Hollywood Video, as I mentioned a few parts back, and... I couldn't really get far, in fact, like, this was usually the farthest I got on my own, like, this area. Um... Because I just wasn't used to it. Like I, like I mentioned before about like how most Nintendo games being platformers or adventure titles. You know, coming into this where you got to manage like, you know, one task and then run to do another. You know, time management and, you know, uh, effectively using your little soldiers and stuff like that. Um, it just was really uncommon for me. I wasn't too uh, good at it, honestly. And, but I, I quickly grew to love this game, not only just because of the music or the graphics, but the playstyle is also really fun too, like, it's a very replayable game, and, hold on, uh, hold on, I'm trying to figure out what to do, I don't want to have to waste time plucking all of them, so we'll just pull out some more. Alright, so... Um, I better hurry though, because I'm running out of time. And then, yellows get that one. And yellows get that one. But, yeah, it's just, it's a series I quickly grew to love. Um, and... I I honestly understand if a lot of people don't like get the series or don't really care for it. Like uh like I know it looks cute, I know it looks you know fun and stuff like that, but it is kind of a hard game to get into and it's definitely not for everyone. Um So I hope whoever watches playthrough or anybody, you know, out of the very because I mean I'm not the only one. There's been a bunch of people that have done peeping playthroughs. Uh 
just given a chance to show off this game, and especially since that the only way to play it is either through an emulator or you know playing the playing on Virtual Console on Wii U. So I don't know. Just I'm glad I get a chance to show it off, and especially during summer. Like I'm filming this during summer. Like let's see. Let me make sure I have all the people in. Yeah, dude, we're good. Um, in fact, when I, the story I was going to say actually was... Oh, this is going to sound such so dorky. Like, I remember... This was when we still rented the game. We didn't own it yet. But, like, playing the game... Like, I think it was my brother. He was playing the game. And, you know, we, it's not a two-player game, obviously. So I would just watch him. And then I'd run outside, you know, in my backyard. And, like... I don't remember. I was. I, I don't remember if I was like pretending to be Olimar or just because you know you see the outside environments in this game and it just makes you want to go outside and look at the grass and see little animals, imagine Peekman and stuff like that. So I would like. I was like. I remember on this day, like I was going back and forth between like being inside watching my brother play and then going out into the backyard like around like the afternoon, like one or two, like just playing Peekman. However you play Peekman, I don't know. <laughs> um. With its newly increased functions, the dolphin now lives higher into the planet's atmosphere. I see a great depression in the woods beneath me. It looks like a belly button in the, this vast forest. Now that my ship is more stable, I should be able to set it down there. So we, wow, we lost 12, ah oh man, that was my fault. But, look at that, look at those Peakman numbers, like, just one off. Like, I don't think I've ever had this many Peakman, like, on, on day four. Usually, like, I'm, I'm still at pretty low numbers, so... At least we utilize our time wisely, you know? There's always something to do in this game. If it's not making more Pikmin, it's, uh, you know, collecting parts, so... Speaking of parts, in the next one, we're gonna be going to the Forest Naval and seeing what this is all about, so... Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.